What is up guys? If you are new to the channel, my name is Chintan and this is DeepGaming.ai where I put out videos on random projects I have been working on involving the use of deep learning in the world of gaming. And today I would like to share with you guys one such random ass project I have been working on recently. If you are a gamer, you must have heard of the two insanely popular games out right now, Fortnite and PUBG. So what we are going to do today is try to recreate the visual graphics of Fortnite in the style of PUBG. For this, we'll use something known as CycleGAN that is used for cross-domain image style transfer using deep neural networks. Why you ask? Well, no reason. So let's get into it. Fortnite and PUBG are two very similar battle royale games in which 100 players duke it out on a small island until there is just one survivor remaining. Now, both games have their strengths and weaknesses, and I like the fast-paced gameplay of Fortnite, but tend to prefer the more realistic visuals of PUBG. So this got me thinking, can we have graphic mods for games that can allow us to choose the visual effects of our liking without having to rely on the game developers providing us the option to switch them? What if a mod was available? that could render the frames of Fortnite in the visuals of PUBG. That's where I decided to explore image style transfer using neural networks and I came across cycle GANs. Cycle GANs are a type of generative adversarial network that can be trained to convert images of one domain, like Fortnite, into another domain, like PUBG. The original implementation of this algorithm was trained to convert horses into zebras apples into oranges and photos into paintings with some amazing results. The network is able to understand objects in the image and apply necessary transformations to match the same object's appearance in the target image. We will train this network by choosing Fortnite as our input domain and PUBG as our target domain. Using a lot of screenshots of both the games. We will train the network to form relations between same objects in both games and thereby make appropriate visual transformations. We start the training process by taking the original image from Fortnite. We will train two deep networks, one generator and one discriminator. The discriminator will learn over time to distinguish between real and fake images of Fortnite. The generator will be trained to convert the input image from the original domain to the target domain using a random screenshot of PUBG from the training set. In order to make sure this transformation is meaningful, we enforce a condition of reconstruction. This means we simultaneously train another set of generator-discriminator pair that reconstructs image in original domain from the fake domain. We enforce the condition that this reconstruction must be similar to the original image, giving us a value of cycle loss that we aim to minimize in the training process. This is similar to how autoencoders work, except that we are not looking for an encoding in the middle step, but an entire image from another domain. The generator network used here is made up of three major convolution blocks. The first one finds an encoding of Fortnite screenshot in a lower dimensional latent space. This encoding is transformed into an encoding that represents PUBG in that same latent space. The decoder then constructs the output image from the transformed encoding, giving us the image of Fortnite that looks like PUBG. One limitation I faced was, I could only work with 256 cross 256 images due to GPU memory limitations. The generated images from CycleGAN after 12 hours of training seem really promising. The network was able to successfully convert colors of the sky, the trees and the grass from Fortnite to that of PUBG. The oversaturated and cartoonish colors of Fortnite were transformed into the more realistic colors of PUBG. It even learned to replace the health meter at the bottom of the screen with the gun and ammo indicator of PUBG. What it was unable to link in the two domains was the appearance of the player, which is why the pixels around it are very blurry. Overall, 
The network did a decent job of identifying objects across the two domains and transforming their appearance. Once we are able to work with higher resolution images generated by these networks, we will be able to use these networks as graphic mod engines for games without having to rely on the game developers. We could use the visual style of a game of our liking and apply it to any other game. But this could take a few years to be ready to work perfectly. That's all for this video. Now, I'm not quite yet done with cycle guns and I will continue to explore them and find new results. And I'll hopefully put them out soon in the next video. So if you want to keep track, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, smash that like button. Until then, see you in the next one.